All right, this is a follow-up to a, a project that I mentioned uh, in a video from the past. I don't know what video or when, but it's my, uh, well, the, the basis of my um, uh, magneto charger that I'm building. Um, basically what it's, it's for is charging up magnetos on either, you know, an old gas engine or a even a, a newer air-cooled engine. Um, <clears throat> there's uh, these the two cores here for the north and south coil. Um, they're inch and a half diameter, um, mild steel, and um, they're attached to the base, which is one inch by four inch uh, mild steel. From what I've been able to uh, gather, you want to use as salt as material as possible, so it doesn't. Apparently, that that structure doesn't hold magnetism once you de-energize it. Um, what I did with these was I um, I milled out the uh, the hole for the cores half inch down, and I bolted the uh, the cores from the from the bottom. Those are uh, three ace bolts. Just thought that would give probably uh, you know, the best um, the best way of conducting the magnetic flux around the whole assembly. I was gonna I was thinking about welding it, but I want to be able to remove these cores. It'll make it, make it a lot easier when I go to wrap the um, coil. So I figured um, recessing the core half an inch would give the best uh, the best metal to metal contact in a sense. They're a very tight fit in, in the plate here. There's a little bit of a gap on this side, but they're they're not a press fit, but they're they're uh, definitely an interference kind of fit. So, but they are removable nonetheless. And these bolts are pretty long. These bolts run up probably to about tip of my finger there. So they're about two and a half inches long. So, there's a good, uh, a good path for the flux to conduct through. And then at the top of the cores, I have some leftover uh, steel here. I'm going to cut this down, but you'll have a the top for the poles. That'll be you well, know, roughly three quarters of its size right now. One on each side, and I think they'll be attached a similar way. Just um, I guess counter boring halfway up and then uh, drilling and tapping for bolts but um, the bolts up here will have to be countersunk themselves because um, on the top here one you, you would place your magneto here and two um, you want it to be flat because um, for different types of magnetos you, you'll use different um, blocks like you'll have a Say you wanted a, you have an odd shaped magneto, not just a regular EK that'll sit across these poles just fine. You have something odd. You would use, um, I'll have to machine some blocks. You can, uh, you know, get different heights or different steps or whatever will allow the magnetic field to conduct the best into the actual magnet you're working on. Whatever will minimize air gap the most. So. This one here is pretty big yet. I'll probably be able to make some blocks out of this one. Like I said, the um, the top will probably probably only be maybe three inches by three inches, thereabouts. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna order the wire tonight. It's uh, I'm using 10 gauge enamel wire, magnet wire they call it. Um, I'm getting it from a company called Essex. They're uh, just a, a wire supply house manufacturer type. So 
they definitely uh, have everything you could look for. Yeah, once I get the wire, I think I, uh, I'll go down to Road King's uh, garage there and um, put each of these cores in his little lathe, run it uh, on super slow speed and use the lathe to uh, wind the coils because uh, I'm getting a 500 foot roll of uh, this enamel wire and um, I guess the let's see that's, I think the total diameter is probably going to be oh, about that so there's definitely going to be a lot of wire on these coils and you, you can do a neater job if you use a machine to instead of just wrapping it by hand but um, just have to remember to wrap them counter to each other so you have a, an actual north and a south pole and they act together through the through the base plate to make one one magnet like a big horseshoe magnet but uh... so that's this project maybe I'll uh, get a shot of us wrapping the coils when I get the wire <laughs>